Hi, this is Artifacts Mars, and here's a very disturbing story. Not that I didn't already know this, but uh, this is the government just admitted will you it will use smart home devices for spying on you. It's from theguardian.com. It's a UK uh, outfit. You want evidence that U.S. intelligence agencies aren't losing surveillance abilities because of rising use of encryption by tech companies? Look no further than testimony on Tuesday by Director of National Intelligence James Clapper. As Guardian reported, Clapper made it clear that the Internet and things, the main devices like thermostats, cameras, and other appliances are increasingly connected to the Internet are providing ample opportunity for intelligence agencies to spy on targets and possibly the masses. There's no possibly about that. There's a danger that many consumers who buy these products will be fully unaware of. Yeah, I'll say it's a danger. You want paranoia? There you go. You've seen how vicious some of these governments have been, especially communist governments. You know, Stalin killed tens of millions own people. And then we had this big, huge surveillance state build up. Trouble. In the future, intelligence services might use the Internet of Things for identification, surveillance, monitoring, location tracking, and targeting for recruitment or to gain access to networks or user credentials, Clapper code, state, a Senate panel as part of annual assessment of threats against the U.S. See, these people view the uh, American people as threats, not somebody to be protected and nurtured, but they view us as threats. Lamper is actually saying something very similar to a major study done at Harvard's Berkman Center released last week. It includes the FBI's recent claim that they're going dark Losing the ability to spy on suspects because of encryption is largely overblown, mainly because federal agencies have so many more avenues for spying. It means we're screwed, basically. This echoes comments by many surveillance experts who have made it clear that rather than going dark, we are actually in the golden age of surveillance. And it goes on and on. Uh, yeah. You have to use a little common sense. They want all these devices connected to the internet. Now, in 1984 was a book ahead of its time, but the spying that went on in that novel movie is insignificant compared to what we have going on today. And what about the thought police? Let's look at that for a minute. Don't we really have those? I mean, on campus, you can hardly say anything without uh, being hauled away in a paddy wagon. Unless it agrees with the government, of course. And it talks about all these uh, gadgets in your car. Well, Samsung took a bunch of heat, a wide range of devices now act as all seeing or all listening devices, including other television models. They were talking about Samsung, where they uh, made their TV spies on people. Xbox, Connect, Amazon Echo, and GM's OnStar program that tracks car owners' driving patterns. Even a new Barbie has the ability to spy on you. I heard about that. Listens to Barry owners to respond, but also sends when it hears back to the mothership at Mattel. Uh, talks about hackers being able to get into these things. Yeah, it's a brave new world, folks. Uh, maybe you could uh, take some of your smart devices and put them in separate rooms where you don't go very often 
or maybe you're just not connecting to the internet. The more of these things that you have connected to the internet, the more they're going to be able to spy on you. Like I said, I have my uh, cell phone, that's a smart device, a couple of computers. I only have the one smart device, which is cell phone. And I also have an old tablet that I never use. Rather primitive little uh, tablet, which is doesn't really do anything. From time to time I power it up, but don't do much. So I'm not concerned with that. It's not connected to anything. But I'll give you a little clue. I've seen articles where they say even if you're not online, they can hack into your... your uh, what they call it? a computer, they can hack into the computer using special device hidden in uh, one of the USB cables, and they can do it without your being even online or connected to the internet. They can do it for, I think it was like 12 miles away or something. I'd have to look it up. And it's a brave new world. We're in a lot of trouble, people. I've already talked about not talking in checkout line at the supermarket. Because you have rows and rows of NSA agents listening in on you. By NSA agents, I don't mean people, necessarily. NSA agents means computers. They wouldn't have enough agents to listen in on everybody in this country, but they do have enough computers. No, I'm not going to go list, living like Ted Kaczynski out in a shack somewhere in the middle of nowhere with nothing around me, although <laughs> he had a point, except he turned into a terrorist, which is a bad thing. But, you know, maybe you'd, if your uh, TV has a camera, put a piece of masking tape over it. If your web, uh, your uh, laptop computer, for instance, has a camera, uh, put a piece of tape over it. Try to ma mask out the uh, microphones, that type of thing. That'd be a good idea. Your safety and avoiding being spied upon, I can go on for hours and hours. You are being spied on by your government. It is illegal. It is criminal. Now, do I, uh... Now, am I worried about they're watching my video? Well, no, because I'm putting it on YouTube. That's a public venue. Anybody who wants to watch it can watch it. So, that's a different situation. I'm Artifacts of Mars, rem reminding you that your government is watching. 